brandy wine is indeterminate so we're gonna be pruning that one and it's probably gonna get ridiculously tall so here is our corn we got corn going down there and it gets shorter as we get to this end my thought process is that this side is shading out that side but it's still growing and it's still looking mighty healthy so we ain't complaining it's just growing a little behind the curve and even with that this is what I put in ground and you see how it's looking and if you haven't seen the video of when I planted these go back and watch it I just got some starch from I think it was Home Depot it's, it says in the video I'm pretty sure and it's irritating me because I got a bunch of weeds coming up around it that I'm gonna have to get up out of there but anyway look at the one that's in the grow bag Here we go and ground let me come back so you can get a full view and ground in the grow bag so who's gonna be growing corn in the grow bag from here on out because although it's growing in the ground and it's growing well it ain't looking like that it likes the grow bag so I think next year especially if this corn grows and I actually get corn we're going to have all our corn in the grow bag. Yeah, that's probably going to be a thing. Um, so back there in the corner, we got some marigolds. And then we got some marigolds here. A lot have died off, but more coming up. Same thing here. It keeps dying back. More come. And then I actually need to take these hula hoops out of here. Um, because I took the covering off of this one. Um, this is, these are nasturtiums right here. My green bell, these are all green bell. I have, um, six of them in here. And I harvested a pepper from this one and this one earlier today. So, and there's another pepper. I don't, I'll, I'll show it closer when I get over there. There's a little one coming on this one and a small one there on this one so yeah but look at what's happening with my red mustards this is what the heat has done to them this is happening actually yesterday I didn't see this and today I did and I'm like well that bolted so we're gonna let it keep going let it flower and give us some seeds and we're gonna harvest the seeds I think I'm only going to keep one to harvest seeds from and pull this other one out and probably it depends if I need to put something in here I'm gonna pull that out and get something else planted up in here we have I see all kinds you see that mm -hmm. yeah that's who's eating up my freaking plants they're all over my um I see see one on there too they're all over my um collards they have <sighs> ravaged my collards and i ain't too worried about it because i did plan on doing um collards in the fall and i plan on having them better protected from the bugs hopefully we're gonna try so yeah because last year i had no i had no bug activity on my collards and this year they having a fields day. They are wreaking havoc. So all of my collars are just being, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm not big about the bugs, let me tell you that. Yep, they're not my thing. And yeah, if you follow Container Gardener, I'm like her. I'm the scaredy cat gardener. I, I really don't need to be out here fooling with this stuff with these kind of bugs that be coming out here because they're gross. And then, you know, I'm easily going to probably end up with some kind of hornworm. Last year, I did have hornworms. My husband was on duty to get rid of those things because, no. <sighs> We're going to see about this year. Anyway, that's what's happening in this bed. <sighs> the only thing that's really thriving is the um, bell peppers and 
the um i just noticed this on this plant i think that's coming from the sun though the upside is there's absolutely no sign of bug activity yet i'm just going i don't want to say yet there's no sign of bug activity on my um zucchini plant none there's no holes really on them or anything so that's a good thing and i check the leaves a lot so only reason why I think they got me on this stuff is because I still had it covered up until today. I literally just took the netting off of it today when I saw that my mustard's bolted and all the bug um, holes from eating on my Georgia collars. I was like, clearly, let me just take this off. So these are my two zucchini plants. It just, there's two of them here. Just take my word for it currently i still don't see any i see one zucchini on this plant possibly coming so we'll see what happens there here's my other nasturtium now you see i have two of them back there they're not doing all that great there's only one nasturtium plant in here and i already have a flower look at that beauty she popped up uh, to my knowledge yesterday is the first time i saw it so yeah and i think i skipped over this mitt here so i don't think she's really liking the sun that much because she's getting a lot of yellowing down there so i'm gonna move this plant and probably put it over here against the fence because i get less sun over there so yeah but over here we have next to the nasturtiums are my green bean plants as you see, those are smaller than those. That's because I succession planted. So those are going to be, those, those are going to have beans first. And then I'll start getting beans from that one. These over here, I think I had, I don't, I think I planted nine and I had eight come up on this side. And I think I had eight on this side as well. So probably about 16 plants. I have nothing in this spot. And right there is a Cuban nail pepper plant it's a sweet pepper right here is a green bell pepper and then next to it all the way up are purple the queen of uh, the purple beauties are right there those three plants we have our roma tomatoes here another roma here and this one is a early girl so the early girl, according to the internet, is a indeterminate, so she will be pruned, and she has been. So yeah. And then here is the other, uh, I think it's called a blue gold berries cherry, um, tomato. It's something like that, but that's the other one. And then underneath, the tomato plants are radishes and I had some over there underneath those tomato plants as well. So I planted some radishes all around the bottom there and those are all the watermelon radish. All right, then we have carrots here. I think I had all of them germinate and there's about 16 I think. And that's another purple beauty right there. And then next to the zucchini, finally making its way up the trellis is our cucumber and it is beginning to flower on both plants and I saw a baby yep you can see it from here where there's a baby cuke about to come on that plant so yeah that's what's happening there then we have this pot here that I threw seeds half seed half of it had garlic chives have had bunching onions the only thing I see is the garlic chives I believe those are so the other ones didn't germinate and then in this corner we have the rest of the it's just one russet in there um, it's just a small container and uh, it's one russet in there growing and then over here are those red Pontiac and this plant of course the leaves are curled because it's hot but it's it's kind of dying at the bottom and again i don't didn't expect to harvest these anytime soon so guys let me know if like 
I shouldn't be relying so heavily on what the got what they say it how long it should take for these things to die back and actually be ready to harvest or maybe I'm assuming that because it's starting to die back it's going to happen quickly and it's going to take time before it fully does so by the time it fully does it will be when I expect to harvest them maybe that's the case here is my celery which I um, I had to move over here because it was getting burned by the Sun and actually is doing very well now over here it's looking a little limpy because it's so hot but it's moist it's not dried out and this is another blueberry plant that I recently got and this is called a blue crop blueberry so and this one is already showing like it's got some kind of new growth of something coming out of there and I'm assuming it's more of the blueberry plant because that's the only thing I put in this pot so we gonna see but yeah this was another rescue it was looking a little it wasn't looking as bad as the other one but it was looking kind of bad too all right then we have this heat got all my stuff feeling some kind of way that is a sugar baby watermelon plant and it's like I'm hot and it looks dry I don't know if you could tell that but it is not look at that it's not um, so it's just like that because it was hot and the top of it is kind of dry this here is the mini the midget melons that I'm um, I bought seeds for so we're gonna see what happens with those it's two plants in there and then next to it is the lemon cukes I also won this on black tropicals page next to that is the scallop um, squash that I also won on Black's tropical page then here is our strawberries and I actually have been getting quite a bit of strawberries um, harvested off of this and I think this is an ever bearing strawberry I forget which um, variety but I believe it is and I believe I could take these and plant these up in another container. I don't think for sure I'm going to be growing strawberries in this container next year. Actually, I think I'm going to do it in something like this. Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. And something like this next year. So, yeah. But it's it's got strawberries all around it. Those little plants in the middle were, were stuff that I started that I didn't have room for. So it's just laying in wait to die. And this is onions. These are some onion sets. I forget. I think it's just some kind of yellow onion. And then garlic sets in front of it. Um, so yeah. That's all that's in that pot. Again, it looks pretty dry. But guys, it is not. <laughs> the sun is just, you know, fried it from the door in the day. And then there is that solid bed. It's really not growing anymore. It's just kind of, it's it's just not doing anything. So I kind of pulled up some of it because I was about to just dump, you know, get rid of um, this whole thing because it's not growing or anything. Um, but the the um, uh, roots are pretty much all through the dirt, like. Like there's roots just all through this so it's I thought it was not going to be so rooted to it and it is so I need to you know probably lay out a tarp flip it over um, try to save some of the dirt if I can or soil if I can and just go from there and I don't know if you noticed that I had cut from a lot of the tops of the onions I dried them and made me some onion powder so that's why you can see they have been cut and the ones that haven't have just gotten that tall they weren't as tall when I cut so uh, yeah they're doing their thing I guess down here are I think those are fingerling potatoes fingerling potatoes they, there's um, some seed potatoes I got at Home Depot I did a either a video or a short about them being 50% off um, so I got like three packs 
two of the fingerling um, multicolor potatoes and one it was called a it's some kind of white potato I don't even remember what it was called and that pot there are radishes it's a variety of different kind of radishes they're all um, the, the varieties that pretty much will come, uh, be ready to harvest at the same time I think it's 20 25 days for all of them so that's why the watermelon radish are in the beds because they take 60 days and these take less I think it was th less than 30 days for all of what's in there so and I think they're supposed to be ready at the end of this month to be harvested guys I am sweating like crazy and the sun is not out I am I'm about to turn this around hold on just in case y'all think I am just making it up do you see like it is dripping off of me the sweat ignore my hair I'm actually going tomorrow because um, I'm thinking about getting locks so um, I go tomorrow for a consultation for micro locks and I have been trying not to put a lot of product in my hair so that they can truly feel the trueness of my hair so yeah and with this heat it ain't helping so yeah anyway I just want to show you that that I'm not making it up I am dripping it was dripping on my eyelash when I was trying to talk it's in the corner of my eye and it's the sun ain't out it's just hot it's still thick and muggy but anyway guys that is the garden for now and what's going on in there there's a lot of things starting to you know do something so I'm excited about that the bugs are not the best part of it but we can we gonna get through it we're gonna get through it so anyway guys I just wanted to update you on what's happening in the garden and I hope you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed um, share the video if you like the content and leave a comment below if you like all right guys i will talk to you later everybody have a great day bye